Hi YouTube, coming to you today with another GeoGuess or tips video for obscure countries that don't have a lot of coverage where you just learn a few tips for them and you can start doing really well. Today I want to focus on Kyrgyzstan, a really easy country to identify if you're in Kyrgyzstan and I'm sure most people who would be interested in this would already know, but you can actually get the country down really quickly. First thing I want to do is uh, just look at the Google map coverage in Kyrgyzstan. So. Um, there's a, a few different segments. Uh, there's a lot of coverage in and around Bishkek. Most of this coverage up here north looks the same. Uh, there's coverage around Isik Kul, the large lake in Kyrgyzstan. Kul means lake, and there's, there's a bit of coverage at different lakes in Kyrgyzstan, but Isik Kul is quite recognizable. There's coverage going down to Narin and out east, west, and south of there. This coverage looks similar. And uh, finally, I would say there's coverage in um, and around Jalalabad and Osh, uh, and this coverage looks similar. Then there's mountain passes, some, some coverage up here near Talas. There's lots of coverage, but I want to spend this video just going through the coverage um, and pointing out how you can figure out where you are. And then I'll uh, link to a second video in the description where I just do a couple rounds and try to go for gold on no moving, as is my normal. Um, to start out, because I'm uh, teasing that there's one big tip, if you're not a fan of car meta, you're going to hate this really bad. But everything here in the southwest corner of Kyrgyzstan is very recognizable for one silly reason. If you're in Osh, um, you might have a hard time telling it apart from Bishkek, the capital. And there's a lot of coverage in Bishkek, so Bishkek is always the safe guess. But what you can look for is that anywhere in the southwest region, the Google car in the rear view mirror on the left is going to be on the left side, on the vertical edge. That's where the um, silver end of the car is going to finish in this rear view mirror. I think if I do my physics correctly, that just means that they have a shorter driver for the southwest portion. This is true in all of Osh. It's true in Jalalabad, and it's true all the way up to this, uh, where, where they make this deviation in Tascomer, um, somewhere around there. So for all of this area, the car ends on the vertical segment of the rear view mirror. If you compare that to somewhere in Bishkek, which I'll hop into now, for the rest of the country, the car ends on the horizontal segment of the leftmost rear view mirror. So you can see the full wheel well, and then you can see even more road to the side. There's even more weird car meta than that, but we'll go into it. That's the first and most important way to figure out if you're in the southwest portion of the country or if you're somewhere else in the country. Um, you can get slightly more specific um, because between Osh and Jalalabad, you often get coverage where it is exactly on the corner. If I can find that. Uh, it's, it's a little subjective, but it seems to be more or less exactly on the corner between the vertical and the horizontal segments. And then um, but past Jalalabad, for whatever reason, all the way up to when it, it uh, splits, sorry, not there, when it splits up here near the mountain pass, um, the rear view mirror is just, or the, the driver's side mirror is dirty. <laughs> and so that's another uh, quick way to realize. But I've realized that I haven't actually gone over for uh, new players. Here's the dirty rear view mirror. Uh, I haven't gone over how to tell that you are in Kyrgyzstan for the first, in the first place. And there's a few very uh, easy ways. The first is the car is pretty familiar. Uh, they use a, cert a similar car in uh, Laos. They use a similar car in Guatemala. Um, but it doesn't look like Laos or Gu Guatemala. The other big tip is uh, you've got a bit of red on the left side of the um, of the license plates on all the cars. So we've got this red strip. It looks a little bit like a European plate, except it has that red strip. And then, um, I mean, other than general geography, it's a very mountainous country with a lot of snow in the mountains. Um, you have a lot of trees that are painted white on the bottom. This is true all over the country. Uh, you've got wooden poles, which are bound here. You might see similar things in some parts of Europe, but uh, it, it's very characteristic. It's an easy country to recognize uh, once you know there. 
but I'm going to go on with how to tell where you are in the country. Uh, as I said, so um, we have Bush, Jalalabad, those are the two major cities where you'll have the um, car beyond the vertical side of the rear view mirror, and then in Tascamar it stops. Now we've got a lot of mountain passes here, and it can be hard to tell this mountain pass apart from mountain passes near Narin. Um, generally speaking, there's this large river on the side of the pass, which can usually help you out, but um, I, I'm not going to, I'm not here to help make it perfect. Um, up near Talas, uh, you, you can generally, one of the main tips when you're trying to figure out where you are in Kyrgyzstan without moving is to base it off of the mountains because you will be able to see all of the mountains that are um, reasonably viewable on the map and you'll be able to usually see them both north and south if they are there. And the map is usually pretty good too at, at telling you how far away they are or how, how tall they are. So these are modestly high mountains to our north and then to the south we have larger mountains to the south and so that's the kind of thing where when you're trying to place it on uh, GeoGuessr you'll be able to see these small mountains here and large mountains to the south um, and that's different this road up to Talas is different than the roads in and around Bishkek because in and around Bishkek you have very large mountains to the south but smaller mountains to the north um, one other tip for Talas which helps me out a lot uh, I don't know why though because it's only for a fairly narrow part of the street is that Talas has, if I can find it, these red and yellow strips on all of their poles throughout the city. Um, not some of the side streets, but it's been a useful tip for me in the past. Um, I skipped over some sections of the pass between the southwestern portion and the uh, capital region. That's because I wanted to talk about where you can find snow in Kyrgyzstan, and that's snow on the ground. So the snowiest places in Kyrgyzstan are anywhere near this valley here, which has uh, you know, coverage leading on all four corners out of it. And anywhere in and around here is often quite snowy and on all of the side routes. So it's, it's quite rural, you're not in a city, and there's a lot of snow. Um, then the next thing you do is you just look at the road angle you look at where the mountains are and you can get some really good you can 5k a random corner around here if you spend you know two minutes on it that's one of the main places with snow this road which i skipped over going from Osh and jalalabad up back to bishkek this road goes to a ski resort and so it's not snowy all the way up here it can, i don't often get coverage uh driving up through the pass but once you get to rc and bob the ski resort it's snowy in and around here uh, it's usually pretty recognizable because you are in the mountains themselves um, and you've got these, you know, muddy dirt tracks in the resort town. Um, so that's a uh, second place with snow. Two more snowy places I want to cover because it's helpful to tell them apart. Um, here, here, Aslan Bob. Then you've got the southeastern portion of Bishkek can have snow. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it reliably, but it's... Uh, in and around the Oktyabr district. Also, I apologize profusely for all of my poor pronunciations. I should have just hovered because I, I can probably find a little bit of snow. But these, these next two portions are less snowy than what I just showed you. You'll have a little bit of snow in and around the Oktyabr district of Bishkek. Um, and again, we're now seeing that the, uh, the, the mirror here we have the car in the top. And then telling apart Bishkek where, and let me uh, come back into it so we can see the snow and then also see the mountains to the south. Uh, sometimes you can't see them if the air quality isn't very good. It's not the best air quality city, but usually you can see some mountains to the south. Maybe I can see them here in Bishkek. And then you'll have to tell this snowy region apart from Karakol, which is on the east side of the large lake. Um, so there's a lot of snow in and around the coverage here in Karakal. Not a lot, but a, a similar, you know, light amount. The, the cities look pretty different if you've gotten them for any amount of time. One of the main differences is there are mountains to the north and you don't have mountains to the north in Bishkek. So now that we've talked about the four places that you'll find snow, uh, there might be exceptions 
but um, I don't think so. The four places that you find snow in Kyrgyzstan. We've kind of talked our way up to this region in and around the capital area. Starting from here, we've, we've talked in and up to the capital area. And it's very hard to tell if you're just outside of Bishkek, which side you're on. If I get better tips for this, I'll come and tell you. But uh, often you're on this general east-west road. You can kind of try to tell using the road angles sometimes, but it's hard. And you'll have these very large mountains that you can see to the south. I mean, these are even the tips above the store. So these, these mountains are quite big, even though this isn't the best place to see them. But that region is going to look very similar to being in Bishkek sometimes along this road. Um, you're just going to have, you know, general, fairly urban, uh, urbanized areas on an east-west district. And then at least if you're at all lucky with where you're at or with what you can see, you should see, oh no, the, this is terrible air quality. I mean, look at that coming out of there. But you should often be able to see mountains to the south. Um, so I don't have good tips for telling you if you're on the east-west road in and around there. But uh, generally, anytime you're in a fairly, uh, you, you've got, you know, three, four-story buildings and you seem to be in a big city. Um, and anytime that you check and your uh, mirror is showing the car on the horizontal section, that side of the corner, then you know you're in Bishkek and you can reliably put yourself somewhere near the middle. Um, I want to jump then, I think, to the Lake District and finally to Narin. The lake is really fun, usually, because you, without knowing anything much about the uh, the area around Izikul, you can often almost 5k it just by looking at the road angle and actually trying to figure out how far you are from the lakes, from the lake, and how far you are from the mountains. Um, and you go into your GeoGuessr map and you go, okay, where is a region with a road angle like this? If you'll remember my old tip, you can point the compass due north. Oh, point the compass due north, but you're not in GeoGuessr, so you can zoom out. And then you look at the road angle at that northwest road uh, angle, and that gives you the, the angle in the map. Um, although I want to enter the map and uh, I'll just zoom back in. It's fine. Um, so you would see, okay, I'm quite close to the lake at that spot. I'm at a pretty horizontal road angle. The mountains are kind of far away, but not too far away. Maybe I'm here. And then obviously if you're down here, you see, well, the mountains are a bit further away. Maybe that's not it. You can often see across the lake. And if you can't see across the lake, you're probably right in the middle. So it's a good place to just feel smart and snoop it out without knowing much about the country. Um, but anytime, yeah, if you can't see the lake because you're somewhere in here, you can often still tell that you're in that region because you have mountains close to you on one side and then a, a large distance before you see more mountains that seems pretty flat. And so even if you can't see the lake, I think I can see it a little bit here. You can tell you're in the lake region and you can snoop it out where you are. Uh, we've got that red strip on the license plate again. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Last one is anywhere in and around Narine, anywhere in this area, um, you're going to get these really rocky hills with uh, without many trees at all. Um, pretty characteristic. Actually, there are trees here. But uh, it, I don't know how to describe it. They're not very tall, but they're just very dry. Um, and there, there are definitely trees. I usually think there are especially trees just south of Narine, but uh, it just looks like you're in the I don't know, Middle Eastern desert or something like that, which you're not. Um, and maybe I'm uh, showing off my geographic um, you know, naivete by thinking that's a Middle Eastern desert, but that's kind of what it is. Then you can just base it off of the road angle. Um, there's some fairly straight roads here, and so you can often get yourself a pretty darn good score. Um, it just seems fairly barren. There's a little bit of snow here. I could see somebody getting um, confused with some areas further west in the country, 
but try not to. This this very straight and barren on, and flat on both sides. I mean, that's its own kind of unique thing for Kyrgyzstan, being how uh, mountainous it is. Um, I've been able to identify that it's this um, angle of road before, because you don't really have long flat sections at that angle when you're up on the western side over here. So I think that's all that I want to highlight for this video. I don't want it to get too long. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Otherwise, you can click on the link in the description to just see me playing and talking out some tips on a Kyrgyzstan GeoGuessr video um, next. And I'll try to get gold without moving. It's not too hard in Kyrgyzstan. As you can see, there's just not much coverage. So thanks, everybody. See you soon.